Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when transitioning from .NET to .NET Core. Our viewer is looking for a replacement for the app domain .get loaded assemblies method, which was a staple in the original .NET framework. The viewer is trying to replicate some existing logic in their on-model creating method. They want to load all current types from loaded assemblies to register the necessary entity type configurations. However, with the absence of app domain in .NET Core, they are seeking a new approach. They've come across some examples using dependency context.default runtime libraries, but it seems that dependency context.default is no longer available either. After some research, they discovered that adding Microsoft.Extensions dependency model to their .NET Core App 1.1 project works, but they still face challenges in their .NET Standard 1.4 project, where their DB context implementation resides. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. In .NET Core, the app domain class is no longer available, which means we need a different approach to get loaded assemblies. Let's explore how to achieve this. One way to access loaded assemblies in .NET Core is by using the dependency context class from the Microsoft Extensions dependency model package. This allows us to retrieve information about the assemblies in our application. To get the types from the loaded assemblies, you can use the following code snippet. First, ensure you have the necessary using directive for dependency context. However, if you're working in a .NET standard project, you might face challenges since dependency context is not directly available. In this case, consider using reflection to load assemblies manually. Finally, remember to register the types you find for your entity type configuration in the DB context. This ensures that your application can properly map the entities to the database. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To replace app domain get loaded assemblies in .NET Core, this user upgraded their .NET standard projects from version 1.4 to 1.6. Now the Microsoft.Extensions dependency model package works properly. Additionally, they noted that using .NET Standard 2.0 eliminates the need for an app domain polyfill class, as it includes more .NET APIs, including system app domain. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.